lovely. It looks like quality. Charlotte do yarding stable. Maybe I'll just like sleep up here. And then when she brings the horses, she'll have to see me. <laughs> Guys, I made an error. Imagine I just get kicked out because I'm showing you like behind the scenes. Why would you ask me that? How do you think you'll cope with the crowds? Good morning guys, it is Thursday the 10th of November and today we are heading up to Stonely Park, I think it's called, for Your Horse Live. Never been to Your Horse Live before, but was kindly invited by Dodson Horrell, my sponsors, to go do a demonstration as a part of their Friday masterclass. Um, I'm doing mine with Bubby Upton, so she's basically gonna give me a lesson tomorrow. I think we're doing like skinnies. We're heading up this evening to have a bit of arena familiarization with Johnny. And also tomorrow I have an early Q&A session with quite a lot of famous names and then there's just me flung in there. So it's quite like a big nerve wracking thing for me, but I just wanted to make sure we're up there early. Johnny's had a good night's sleep. I'm already in prepared. I'm not gonna have the best night's sleep again because we're in the lorry sleeping in the horse department, but you know, I can get up early. I can make sure I'm all ready and then head to that Q&A session at 10 a.m. Um, I think that's being, I think that's on a horse and country TV Awesome Country Plus TV, just like a Q&A session about Dot and Horror and about ourselves, the people that are being interviewed, so yeah, and then I've also got a signing with Dot and Horror at their stand at I think 11.30, and then the demo is at 2.45, so busy day tomorrow, just wanted to get up there now, it's like midday now on Thursday, and it's quite a long journey for us, Tony Park is a good three, three and a half hours away, so it's quite a trek, um, I need to head out now, I've got all my stuff down there, ready to go in the lorry, Johnny just needs his legs washed because he's very dirty still. The mud down in the south, I don't know if it's the same up in the north for you guys, but literally it is mental here. There's so much rain. We had like four days of consecutive rain and the ground is just not doing well because of it. So he definitely needs a bit of a wash down with his legs. He's got two white socks. We need them cleaning. Lorry's all packed and everything. Um, gonna head out now and yeah, very excited. Bit nervous. Um, Literally, I'm going to be surrounded by my inspirations. Um, it's a bit crazy for me that I'm going to be sat down with these people that I literally have looked up to all my life and being interviewed with them. So yeah, I'm finding it a little bit like surreal. Um, I guess it's going to be even more surreal when I get there, but very excited. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. So yeah, let's head out now and get Johnny in. Okay, so I've just got outside um, and got Johnny in over there. But unbelievably, I'm somehow still running late despite leaving plenty of time. So I've got to get going with washing John. Come over and see the man himself. Hey, hey, how are you feeling? He says, bruv, stop putting the camera in my face. Definitely in need of a bit of a wash. How are you, you got anything to say? He says, mum, I'm really sleepy. Oh, scratches. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, right, let's put a time lapse on and get those little feet cleaned, shall we? It's a good thing you're not grey because I'd be in trouble if he was. Okay, he's all ready to go. He needs his little boots on now, but I'll just wait to put them on because we're gonna take a photo first um, in the DNA stuff to post to let people know what we're doing over the next couple of days um, on my Instagram. If you're not following my Instagram already, make sure to check it out. It's Pony Nuts, so easy to find. Um, yeah, he took a bit of time to wash. I can't lie, so we're running a little bit late, but luckily we only need to be there for the arena familiarization, which is literally at like eight, I think, this evening. So it's not really that deep. We just wanted to get there with time. Timmy's watching me. You okay? Oh yes, I see. <laughs> He's like, I miss being in vlogs. Um, but yeah, let's take a photo and then I'll hopefully try and get mum to video me putting John in the trailer, but to be honest, I might forget. I might have to rush off and do it. So I just need to get my bedding, which I've left in the house. So as you can tell, very prepared for this, clearly. Okay, enough of me talking. You okay, John? Why are you hiding? Why are you hiding? I think I might change his head cut over to his fluffy one as well. Spoiled horse. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit. Quick interim 
in the journey. Is interim the right word there? I've literally never used that word in my life before. My mum did just reverse into a lamppost. Don't tell her I told her that, but she did. Did you feel it? <laughs> but um, no, we've made it halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway. We are having a cheeky stop at a service station to get a coffee and I'm, I'm gunning for a subway, but mum wants a Greg's which I think describes us perfectly, but um, going well despite reversing into a lamppost um, and disagreeing on food choices, no instances yet. How are you doing Jonathan? Are you having a good journey? He says, what is with all these long journeys recently? I promise this is the last one for a minute. <laughs> Apart from when we go home, unless you want to stay in Stony Park. But yeah. Also, I was under the assumption that Stony Park was in Cheshire. Turns out it's literally not in Cheshire. Apparently it's in Birmingham. But I was convinced we were travelling to Cheshire, which is a bit strange considering no one has told me it's in Cheshire. But no, it's only in Birmingham. Um, so that's good. I don't know why it's good. I have nothing against Cheshire. Sorry if you're from Cheshire. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I I'm just talking because I'm like slightly tired and slightly delusional. This always happens at these weird like interims. My mum's calling me. It probably means I need to go get Subway slash Greg's. I'll see you guys when we're there. into the stables so beautiful oh sorry we have found a stable but it needs some more bedding in it so we're gonna find some more bedding Are you okay it's a little bit jumpy Bessem. oh johnny's helping <laughs> Are you okay good boy they're very loud good boy john <laughs> oh he needs a wee he says oh good boy Okay, thanks for that, Jonathan. I'll be cleaning that out later. <laughs> so, Johnny, the camera quality is already bad enough without you sniffing it. Okay, we'll just put some more bedding down. Looking much more comfy now. He's eating his hay, so he's nice and relaxed. I'm gonna go find out where this arena familiarisation is. Hi. Hi. Do you know where the arena familiarisation is? Yes, uh -huh. it's down the bottom. Yeah, yeah we're going. gonna take everybody down uh, as okay. soon as the arena is ready. Okay. Is it, is it inside or is it outside? Inside. Yeah. It's inside. It's inside. It's oh, inside. Thank God for that. We were driving and we were like, oh my God, please yeah. don't not be outside. Yeah, no, it's inside. <laughs> okay, great. Thanks so much. Guys, did you hear that voice crack? <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> not the voice crack. <laughs> this is before living department before and oh yeah transition so this is the finished product i'm sleeping here and let's take you into the other the other bedroom oh god this is where mum's sleeping as you can see very spacious lovely two rooms as mentioned in my aston vlog we're not going to do a full rundown you guys know i'm about to be sleeping good okay guys there's no light anywhere so this is as good as it's going to get Basically, I'm about to head to the arena for familiarisation now. Hopefully, you can see me a little bit. Um, I'll try and get some videos, but if not, I'll see you guys after. Guys, I made an error. Very odd behaviour from Johnny. Um, never seen that before. Right, that was strange. Are you kind of come in the vlog? Guys, there's been a change. So, basically, we made an error on course. So when we came in, they were like, oh, find the stable with your name on it. Um, we looked around. I'm, I'm going to be honest, we could not find our name on any of the stables. But I played it off cool in the vlog because I was like, put them in a stable. But actually, we hadn't found a stable with our name on it. However... 
didn't really think anything of it. Thought maybe they just forgot about us and we just had to find a stable. So we put them in any old stable, but then we came down to the arena familiarization and we're like walking past and everyone's like, oh my God, like those are the stables for, like there's Ben Atkinson's horses. And I was suddenly like, do we just want to check our names aren't on them? Cause that's like where the demonstrators are. Yeah, our name was on the stables here. And not only that, our name was on stables right next to Sir Lee Pearson, Bobby Upton and Charlotte Dujardin. Let me just show you. So Johnny is going to be amongst great. Did have a little bit of a mini freak out when I first saw that because they're gonna like walk along, see Gracie, and be like, Who is Gracie? <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is like the biggest moment of my life. So, me and mum moved Johnny this way. I have unfortunately locked myself in the stable. So, we moved Johnny to these stables where he's actually meant to be. Here he is, he's very happy. He really liked the arena from realization, he was a very good boy. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know how to lock this. Are you okay? So, let's show, let's show them. To our right, we have Sir Lee Pearson's horses stables. All along there. Oh, and then we also have Jay Halen. Is it Jay Halen? Harlan? Yeah, that guy. He's also got the show jumper. He's also got his horses here. Um, and then we come up here, Gracie with Jonathan. How you doing? Yeah? Very, very good indeed. Good job, Johnny. Good posing. Very nice. Then we come along. We have Bubby, Bubby Upton. Another Lee. And then Charlotte Dujardin stable. I have actually never met Charlotte Dujardin. I'm really hoping that I will just like accidentally bump into her. Like maybe I'll just like sleep up here and then when she brings the horses, she'll have to see me. That sounds a little bit stalkerish. Hopefully she doesn't see this. Who am I kidding? She's not gonna see this. So yes, her stables. And then hopefully I can show you guys this. Imagine I just get kicked out because I'm showing you like behind the scenes. So we come up here. We're on the end. Um some more horses. Kelly Marks, a horse whisperer. Okay, so we have some Jeff Jeff Billingtons along this side. Um, is that Oliver? Don't tell me that's Oliver Townend. I'll actually lose my mind if that's Oliver Townend. But that does definitely say Oliver over there. Ben Atkinson's horses. I'm not sure I can be showing this. But here they are. Here they are. Famous horses. I have seen all over. I've seen all over things. That's around the outside, but there's people coming. I'm really scared. I'm gonna walk back to my horse. <laughs> I'm not sure why my horse's stable door is open. Oh, it's mum, thank god. Imagine he just escaped. <laughs> just having his Dodson and Oral dinner. Hey, are you enjoying? You've dropped a carrot. How have you dropped a carrot? Let's put it back in there. Come on then. Oh, good boy. All right, we'll come down checking you later, yeah? We're gonna go have, have our dinner as well. Here we have our lovely dinner. We have in a cup because the bowls have fallen down the back. <laughs> we are living off torches and lights, like lanterns in here because we don't have any true lights. Um, and this is my seat. Oh yeah. Having a bit of a pina colada as well, just to celebrate making it here. Um, yes, what, what is this? It's ravioli. Ravioli with tomato and mascarpone sauce. If you watched the Aston vlog, we had the exact same meal then. Actually, I think this is Bolognese version though, so a little bit better. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys after. This is very strange actually doing it from like a third person angle rather than holding it. I don't think I'm gonna repeat it. You guys, I've just come in here to go to bed. And look at this. Can you see that huge spider? Got the whole webs come down with it. Mum, 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 yeah, good boy. I'm gonna change over his rug and put on, uh, I'm gonna put on this rug and then put the dry rug over the top because the normal rug doesn't have a neck and it's actually quite cold. Um, but yeah, pleased with how he's setting in and everything. So I'll set up a time lapse for me, like doing everything out here. I'm gonna muck out a stable as well. He's got enough hay and water already. Um, 
but yeah then I'm gonna head to bed I've just been doing a little bit of editing I was just editing the Aston vlog if you haven't seen that already that's actually quite a good vlog if you want to go watch it. it shows truly the ups and downs of eventing so yeah just just promoting a separate vlog to the one I'm in but anyway yeah let's set up that time lapse Okay then, that's all from Johnny and I this evening. Uh, we will see you guys in the morning. Big day tomorrow. I'll have a busy morning, but you can have a nice lie in. Mm -hmm. Not me though. So on that note, uh, I think I'll say my good nights as well. And I will see you guys in the morning for big day. Did I do a transition? Hopefully I did a transition. Good morning guys. It is the next day. I have been up. I've eaten, I've had some tea, I'm changed, I've done my makeup, I'm yet to do my hair, but I thought it was time that I should uh, start the vlog for the day. Basically, I didn't vlog this morning, because when I woke up, I woke up from one of those sleeps where it feels like you actually like were in a coma for eight years. So it was one of those where you literally can't see when you wake up. So I was like walking around the showground, like literally not being able to see because I was still half asleep. So I figured adding in the aspect of vlogging as well would probably be nice fall over so I avoided that um but up now awake hair does need I think I'm gonna do it up in a ponytail I'm sure I was like a strobe lighting going on party time Sophie Wells just walked past whilst I was doing that hopefully she didn't see I'm sure she's got other things to worry about rather than a strange girl sad and standing in a lorry pretending to party so I'm gonna head down now to the stables just check on John I'm already I've got my boots on I didn't really know what shoes to wear because I, I thought if I just chucked on some Air Force, it would look a bit weird. So I put on my boots. I'm, I'm still wearing the hat. When am I never wearing a hat? It just protects my hair. And then maybe I'll take it off for the thing. But just for now, I'm going to keep it on. Um, and yeah, my dozen horror gelée. Thought about the jacket. I might just bring the jacket over the top. But for now, just the gelée will be fine. Um, but yeah, let's sit down, check on John. Make sure everything's okay. And then maybe go down, check out the Q&A area. <laughs> Guys, I'm so nervous. Guys, I'm nervous. Ah! Scratches. Scratches. Oh. Oh. These horses, like, what in the world? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Literally, what is going on? <laughs> Jonathan, is everything okay? You okay? <laughs> Doesn't this horse look like Bella? It's Lee's horse. I just got to Dot and Roll Sand, just saying hello to everybody. Got Bubby there. <laughs> <laughs> um, about to head down to the Q and A area now. Absolutely calm. Very wise. Very wise. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome to the horse country stage. We have the D and H ambassadors here. We have the wonderful Sir Lee Pearson. Do I have to curtsy, Lee? No. Are you sure? No, but yes. He says no, but he means yes. Um, we have the brilliant Sophie Wells. We have Gracie Tight, who is going to be doing a demo with the wonderful Bobby Upton later on today. And um, what a stage to start off your horse life. Thanks for coming, guys. So what is it, first of all, from when you get to this opportunity with a rider like Bobby, what is it that's going through your head? What is it you want to take away? And maybe the people who are going to come and watch the Masterclass later, what is it that you kind of the most want to get out of the top rider, do you think? Well, first of all, I'm thinking don't fall off and embarrass yourself. But... Well, that makes for a great Instagram <laughs> we'll thing. that. Well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what? It would make for some good content but I'm gonna try not to but I'm just trying to take away all her knowledge she's got so much experience and like also I'm really inspired by Bobby because you balanced university at the same time didn't you and I've just finished my A-levels and I, I literally had to stop riding during my A-levels to cope for that but, so for the fact that Bobby has managed to do a degree at the same time is just amazing when you're out of control and you're just hoping the best that you know everybody's hard work comes together in really. which horses have you got for us today Grace which ones have you brought I've got my lovely girl with Johnny. I haven't had it that long. I've had him I'm coming up to a year now, but he's, he's, I think he's a little bit starstruck as well. He's stable between one of Lee's horses and one of Bobby's horses. So it's very surreal for him as well. He was in the stable, like, looking around, like, wow, this is very nice here. So, yeah, I think he's going to be maybe a little bit excited. And how do you think he'll cope with the crowds? 
Well, I hope he copes okay. As I said, I'd quite like not to fall off. Um, but no, I think he should be a good boy. He can be a little bit spooky at times, but you know, as everyone's saying, he's got to learn to cope. I'm not sure we'll ever be in front of big crowds like these guys have, but even at the smaller events, you get some clapping and stuff. Yeah. So I'd like him to not go a bit mental if that ever happens to him. So a good experience. Yeah. Well, I've been eventing, there's been seagulls flying across. <laughs> so you can be preparing for a bit of victim, yeah. And, um, Gracie, you have, um, I mean, a ridiculous number of followers. You put this lot to shame, by the way. Um, I'm guessing for you as well, there's that added pressure when you go out and compete, lots of people know who you are, um, but having a brand like Dobson the Horror supporting you, um, are there, is their advice been valuable? So it doesn't matter what level you're at, some horses are tricky to feed, aren't they? Yeah, well we have five very different horses at home. Really. Oh, easy then, yeah. yeah. Ranging from a very old pony with cushions, very prone to laminitis, to a pregnant bear, to my competition horse, but they all are on ultimate balancer as like a good base for them, it gives them all the vitamins and nutrients that they need, and it just means that we can add whatever they else need on top, like to tailor to their separate needs, knowing that they have all those vitamins and minerals. Um, yeah, so Dr. Morrow have been amazing. They supported me for a good few years now, right from when I was competing my little 13 to at national level. And now when I, you know, I've taken a big break because of my A-levels and they've been amazing, still so supportive and looking out for me. And when I got Johnny, they helped me to find what he needs for his competition yeah. mix and everything. I see some like he's a little bit extra spark, he can be a little bit lazy. Um, but yeah, I'm very grateful for their support. And um, you do have a big following. I don't know if you've ever followed Lee on social media. He's a fan of a selfie. Um, <laughs> you are good at a selfie, Lee. Can we have your selfie pose? Can I see lips. It? Your lips are what? Children draw, children draw at school. <laughs> That's very good. It's a very good. Um, but you're, you're following. I mean, do you get lots of people asking for your advice? And what would be what are your tips to us slightly older, um, not you, Bobby, you're still under 25 champions. Um, but what would be, have you got any advice for Lee to up his followers? You've got a lot more followers than this. What would be your top tip? Sounds like you just need to post more selfies, honestly. More selfies, yeah, more okay. Selfies. Yeah, we we will do more selfies okay. later. Okay, okay. Just be yourself. I'm yeah. still learning the on button on the phone, what do you mean? <laughs> Um, and Sophie, you're very good on social media as well. You like you enjoy a bit of a bit of social media um, and a bit of banter. You're you're quite funny on social media as well, Sophie. <laughs> you were looking at the right one. <laughs> <laughs> We look great. Honestly, look at Jesus. that quality. <laughs> so I'm here with Sir Lee Pearson. Or just Lee. Shall I just, I'll call just you Lee. Lee. Yeah. Just, we're friends now. Yeah, we're friends now. We've which been is, on stage together. It's scary for me to say. <laughs> so yeah, how was the experience on stage? I'm very old and toothy, so I literally don't even get nervous anymore. I was shaking. You were you? I was sweating. <laughs> I gave it back to Bobby and I was like, let it slip out of our No, hand. and I'm, I just, I'm sort of, if you have got an audience, which we had a little bit of an audience, it's just better to be honest. And yeah. they, they like, You'll know this anyway with all your media ex mm. experience. They just like honesty. Yeah, do you know do, what I mean? Absolutely. I think too, too many people are PC and just mm. say what people want to hear, whereas, yeah, you get the grit with me. I Jenny Rundle goes straight into those <laughs> awkward questions. She absolutely did, yeah. She was saying about your social media, are you like a good selfie? We need to get a selfie. It's your lips. Practice your it's selfies. Your... Oh, yeah, we just catch up. Thank <laughs> you. Very good. I told you to come in it as well. All right. Hello. Yeah, yeah, okay. so you're pal, yeah. Oh no, I am terrible at a selfie. I t I try and hold it as far away from my face and like tips in my it's chin. Like a mum that selfie. That yeah, that's a problem. I do have two small children. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm gonna go. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Jenny. Well, no, thank you for joining us on stage. It was great. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to come and watch your demo later. Oh, now. I'm going to see yeah. yours. I'm well. going to heckle from the crowd. Don't you dare, Johnny. My horse Johnny will freak out. If someone starts heckling at him, I nearly said to you on stage, you want me to come in with Breeze as a bit oh, of company. God, yeah. <laughs> oh, Johnny is funny. Yeah, you'll yeah. be fine. You'll be I'll fine. look out for you in the crowd then. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you very much for being in the vlog. Bye bye. <laughs> Here at the bed down stand. Hi. Emily, Sarah. Here we go. So we are just about to film this or that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've also just got some new bed down kit going on as well. Yeah, Wish Avalanche I... collab. Yeah. Yardware. Avalanche collab. Wish I could show the full kit, but unfortunately. Oh, actually, here it is, you know. Not on, though. Not as good. Um, yeah, and then I've got and a head. Your favourite choice in that? My choice, Excel, it's what we use in all of them. Also, I've got to say a shout out to the lavender shavings because I always rave about this in the trailer and this is um, very good. Um, <laughs> there you go, welcome. <laughs> um, I've got to head to the signing, a DNH stand, in about 20 minutes, but first, just have some fun with the Bed Down Gang. Simon Green or Emily at Bed Down? Why would you ask me that? Why? <laughs> 
Emily at bed down. <laughs> Special D and H goodie bags going out. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I think I bought too many out. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with Sophia, who has come over to the Dodson Horror stand. Just got Dodson Horror goodie bag. What's actually in it? I don't know. Do you have a look? I kind of want one, you know. Just a little notebook. Oh my god. Why is it kind of fancy? I know. Ooh, notebook. Okay. That's a hat as well. A hat? Yeah. Hang on a second. What is going on here? <laughs> so I get it's like a birthday present from DNA. <laughs> Love it. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's Sophia's birthday. How old are you today? 17. 17. Happy birthday. Thank and yeah, you. hope you have a really good day. Okay, so now I've done all my speaking stuff. Jonathan here is going to go and have a graze. As I was saying, Johnny is just going to be hand grazed now. What by mum. And then we're gonna head down and get some food before heading to our demo at 2.45. So yeah, it's been really fun so far. I uh, had the Q&A, which went really well. I went to d &H and caught up with them as well because I haven't seen the team in a while. So that was really nice. Um, also met some of you guys there. So yeah, very much looking forward to the demo and hopefully I can do Jonathan justice. Hi guys, um, sorry, I have not been vlogging for the last couple of hours. I just went to get some food and then check out some other stands, say hello to some more people. Uh, just kind of enjoy the day without my camera but I've got my camera now and we are heading to the demo I'm wearing this GoPro not sure if I'm gonna keep this on because it looks a little bit stupid but I kind of want to give you guys like the view of what I'm seeing as well and when else are you gonna see something like this so I think I might wear it we're heading down now got about half an hour I'm just gonna give him a bit of a walk around warm up because I think he's gonna be a little bit feisty so just gonna make sure he doesn't throw me off in the arena although I don't think he will um, but let's head down Hopefully I'll get mum to film this camera, but she, she doesn't really like this camera because it is quite tricky to film with, so she might just be filming on her phone, which is also fine. So, whatever, we're going to see some clips from the demo, and I'll see you guys afterwards. Jonathan, looking extremely unimpressed. How are we feeling? <sighs> I'd take the hat off, guys. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to go. Just last check-in. I'll see you guys after the demo. Please be good. I'm sure you will be.
Just walking back to the stables now after our demo. Um, he's all been he's all been washed off and cleaned up and had some hand grazing as well. All ready to make the long journey home. But I'm just letting him chill in the stable first of all. Um, oh my god, there's a beautiful horse coming. But yeah, he was. I mean, you saw in the videos he was literally perfect. Bless him. Um, we had that little look at. He first went in. He was literally like. I think his mind exploded out of his ears. Um, he was so confused by all the crowds. He's never been in this, like a place like that, so like, of course he was. Um, but as soon as he started jumping, he had a little look at the first time he tried to go over that brush fence because he literally mind was on other things. But as soon as he got going, he was absolutely perfect. And he did the combination, it was really good. He really listened to me. <laughs> he really listened to me and tried to stay cool. So yeah, I'm very proud of him. I'm gonna put him in the stable now and let him chill out for a bit and then get mama coffee and then we can head home. So what a day. I'll catch you guys in a bit. <gasps> Look at that. <laughs> and there's Johnny up there. <laughs> I just went and got some sweets and some fudge. Literally, I am those places' biggest customers. I just get roped in every time and it's such a bad deal. Like. It's like, it was like £5.80 for a handful of sweets, but I just get roped in every time. I am exactly the audience they're trying to sell to. People like me. Anyway, got roped in, bought loads of sweets, wasted all my money on them, but it's okay, it's worth it. I needed a bit of sugar. Just checking on John now, he's just having a little bit of a chill time in his stable. Where'd you come from? Why is he like the weirdest horse ever? Are you okay, Johnny? Johnny, you can't see. <laughs> I love him. He's such, he's such a dude. Look, he's touching noses with another horse over the, over the partition very, very peculiar from him anyways yes i think i'm gonna end the vlog here because my camera's about to die thank you very much for watching thank you so much dnh for inviting me along to this masterclass and for your horse life for hosting it and of course to bobby upton for the amazing lesson and demo she was very good and very concise even if it was difficult to hear so very appreciative of that and also to you guys thank you everybody for coming along to say hello if you did and of course for following and supporting because without you this wouldn't be possible um, so I am very very grateful and very excited about doing this I can't stop smiling I did just have a real moment of appreciation when I was walking back some of people who watched the demo stopped and said how great they thought it was and they were so lovely about it and it just made me go wow I really am so lucky to get to do this and call it my job basically yeah so Big thank you to everybody. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, I'm posting weekly now, so turn on post notifications so you don't miss a video.